This electric speedboat could be the future of water transport. No fossil fuels, no bouncing up and down on waves. In fact, when you get up to speed, you're not even on the water at all. This is the C8, an all-electric hydrofoil boat built by Swedish company Candela. It ditches a lot of the features you've seen on a regular speedboat. There's no gas or diesel fuel, no emissions, and no noisy outboard motor. Instead, it's powered by a lithium ion battery and a highly efficient motor that's shaped like a torpedo. But the big secret to this boat is what lies beneath. Instead of a hull that sits directly in the water, the Candela takes its design cues from an airplane with a smooth hydrofoil that lifts the boat and makes sailing feel like flying. A hydrofoil works just like an airplane wing. Uh, once you hit a certain speed, uh, you have a flow over the wing which provides lift. And this lift will, will ultimately lift the whole hull of a Candela out of the water. Hydrofoils aren't new. And there it goes on last week's crossing from Calais. The first ever by a hydrofoil carrying passengers. They've been used for decades by commercial boating operations, sailors, and even billionaire tech CEOs riding on surfboards. But Candela is the first to bring hydrofoil technology to an electric leisure boat, and it solves a big problem. The main issue with electric boats is just how much power you need to push the hull through the waves. Conventional uh, speedboats are actually some of the most energy inefficient craft uh, on the planet. So uh, if you have a conventional planing hull, it uses 15 times as much fuel per kilometer as a family car. But when you push the hull up and out of the water, you reduce the drag, and that reduces how much power you need to actually run the boat. The C8 has a 44 kilowatt hour lithium ion battery, and it has a range of 50 nautical miles. According to the company, that's enough to easily cover the whole San Francisco Bay at a speed of 22 knots or about 25 miles per hour, all with a two hour charge time. So when the boat is uh, in flying mode, it uses 80% less energy than conventional boats, which means that it can go both far and fast on, on pure battery power. There are some other benefits that come with sticking a hydrofoil on a boat. Because you're out of the water, you're not creating a huge wake behind you, and you're not slamming up and down on the waves, so Candela says you won't get seasick. This isn't the first hydrofoil boat Candela has made. The C8's predecessor, the C7, had more of a traditional design with a motor on the back. With the C8, the company totally redesigned the boat, adding a direct drive motor known as the C-Pod underneath the hull. Shaped like a torpedo, the C-Pod directly drives the propellers, making it super efficient. There's no transmission or cooling system. The whole thing is cooled by the flow of seawater, or lake water. All that means less maintenance and running costs. Candela says the motor can run for 3,000 hours without needing a service. And by going electric and putting the motor underwater, the company says the C8 is a virtually silent ride. Oh my God, it's so silent. That was the first reaction. <laughs> uh, I mean, you have the motor under the water, so there's no transmission noise at all. So it's, it's just silent. So it's like a magic carpet ride, really. Candela hasn't just revolutionized the physical shape of this leisure boat. The company also created a state-of-the-art flight control system. That avionics system, as Candela has dubbed it, can make split-second adjustments mid-flight, similar to a drone. When the boat is flying, it's, it's inherently unstable, so it wants to tip over and roll. Uh, in order to balance it, we uh, have computers that uh, move the wing 100 times per second in order to stabilize the boat. So it, it's like a quadcopter drone. Uh, and this makes the boat super stable when you're up and flying. With all this design and engineering work, Candela isn't just setting its sights on the leisure boating industry. The company is also rolling out its technology to a fleet of hydrofoil ferries, which are due to begin moving passengers in Stockholm in early 2023. 
Known as the P30, the company says this 30-person ferry cuts operating costs by 50 to 60% compared to traditional diesel ferries of the same size. While the P30 ferry might be more about moving commuters, there's no doubt the C8 is more of an extravagant leisure craft. Think luxury boat owners and environmentally conscious buyers with cash to spend. Candela is taking pre-orders for the C8, starting at 290,000 euros excluding tax, or roughly $330,000 US. But for that price, you get all the bells and whistles you'd expect on a luxury powerboat. There's room to sleep two adults and two children, as well as optional features like a shower or a hardtop with a retractable sunroof. Just like a Tesla, all the controls are managed on a 15-inch touchscreen or on an accompanying smartphone app. And if you want the true high-end experience, you can add a premium sound system. Though you might not need it. After all, without that noisy motor, there's no sound to drown out. So what's the coolest thing about this boat to you? Is it the fact that you can have an all-electric powerboat? Or is it the fact that you are flying across the water? Let me know in the comments below. And while you're there, make sure you subscribe to CNET. We're hoping to take a ride on this one later this year, so you'll be able to see that video right here. In the meantime, I'm Claire Riley for What the Future, bringing you the world of tomorrow today.